Apart from its wildlife, melting pot of cultures, and beautiful vistas, the indigenous flora of South Africa is one of the many things that make the country unique. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at Scadoxis punicius, an indigenous South African bulb. Join us as we cover some interesting facts about the bulb, after which we will show you how it is grown, all the way from seed to flowering plant. If you like this video, then be sure to check out our ebook that covers all of this information. Here at Agriculture Academy, we are passionate about sharing our expert knowledge with you. On our channel, you will find videos on plant propagation, tips for starting side hustles, animal husbandry and everything in between. The Scadoxis flower is a South African native and can be found in the shady areas along the coast and further up into tropical Africa. The bulb is a member of the family Amaryllidaceae, along with other bulbs like the Amaryllis and Clivia. The common names include the paintbrush or snake lily. Scadoxis is one of the few deciduous bulbs within the Amaryllidaceae family. At the beginning of spring, the flower stalks emerge from the center of the bulb. These stalks bear giant inflorescences, which are made up of many red flowers. These flower heads are a gold mine of nectar and pollen, which makes them very effective in attracting bees and nectivorous birds. These flower heads quickly start to grow green berries, which turn red once they are ripe. Inside these berries is a single, pearlescent seed. After the flower stalks have emerged, the fleshy green leaves start to grow. During the summer, these leaves photosynthesize and allow the plant to invest energy into bulb growth. Towards the end of the summer, the leaves wilt and die and the plant will go dormant. During this time the bulbs are very water-wise, because they are able to store moisture in their large bulbs and therefore require little water. As is the case with many Amaryllidaceae plants, the bulb is poisonous if ingested. However, this hasn't stopped the Scadoxis from becoming a feature in many gardens. Unfortunately, this has made the wild bulbs a favorite for poachers and they are often sold illegally. This highlights the importance of growing the plant legally and sustainably, something we hope we can educate people about. With this in mind, let's start growing some Scadoxis bulbs. The most common method of Scadoxis propagation starts with seed. The easiest way to get your hands on some is by harvesting them from mature plants. Once these berries turn red, you can remove them from the plant and get your seeds. You can either allow the berries to dry completely, or you can give the fresh berries a gentle squeeze and the seed will pop out. We have noticed that fresher seed germinates better than dried seed, so rather get your gloves on and start popping the berries. The fresh seed may still have some berry flesh on them. If the seeds are sown like this, the flesh can rot and prevent germination. To prevent this, give your seeds a good rinse and let them dry before you sow them. If you are sowing on a large scale, you can maximize space efficiency by using individual trays. We are filling our trays with a seed germination mix, you can find the ratios for the mix in the video linked above. The method for planting the seeds is very similar to the technique used for clivias. Simply find the eye of the seed and place this end about a third of the way down into the soil. From this eye, a shoot will grow that develops into a bulb. Keep your seeds in a semi-shaded, warm area. Because they are deciduous bulbs, you can expect the foliage to die during the winter months. Try not to dig up your seedlings unnecessarily and leave them in their containers for at least the first year. In their second season, this is what the young bulbs will look like. You can see how fleshy and robust the roots are. You can transplant them into larger bags filled with fertile, well-drained soil. These bulbs are slow growers, so you can expect to wait up to four years before they start to flower. And that brings us to the end of this video on Scadox's propagation. We hope you enjoyed it and learned some interesting things about the bulb. Remember to download your ebook before you go, and we will see you next time.